guys, this is Tara with Kitten Sweets and Tarot, and today I'm bringing you a do-it-yourself bath salt. So whether you are witchy or not witchy, whether you believe in uh, astrology or not believe in astrology, um, this simple bath salt that you can create is really nice smelling. It's really wonderful. It's soothing. And I mean, like who doesn't like a nice refreshing soak? And if you are in lack of a bathtub, then you can always sprinkle this on the floor of your shower, on the bottom of your shower. And uh, as the water hits it and as your feet touch the salts, uh, I just find it to be re really refreshing and cleansing. Um, there's also, uh, somebody had suggested you can take bath salts, put them in a little muslin bag, and hang it from your shower head so that you can kind of soak up the aromas uh, while you're in your shower. So you don't necessarily have to have a bath for this, but um, I'm just going to tell you how I create this uh, bath salt with the inspiration of the Witch's Spell a Day Almanac. Um, so this is uh, because of the new moon in Taurus. Like I said, you don't have to be into astrology, but this was uh, created in this book because of the new moon. This is new moon a cleansing bath. So this was for yesterday, but uh, we are in today, Wednesday, and I'm thinking we're still kind of a little bit in that new moon phase. Um, and so this this is going to be just wonderful for that. It says the, moon, the new moon is a lovely time for cleansing and new beginnings. This spell will set you up for both. There's no better way to start a new moon cycle than with an energetically fresh and clean slate. If you've been in a funk, uh, yeah, <laughs> think of this as a bit of a reset. Make yourself a simple bath salt scrub. Um, and so I've kind of tweaked the mixture a little bit. Um, so let me go ahead and um, show you what the ingredients are. So this particular bath salt, you're going to need two cups of sea salt, three tablespoons of lavender buds, and two to three drops of lavender essential oil. So I'm going to take my ingredients here and I'm just going to place them in this uh, Pyrex bowl just for mixing. So I'm going to go ahead and take my uh, sea salt, which I got for pretty cheap at um, Costco. It gives you like a, a very large amount of sea salt. <laughs> so let's go ahead and pour that in. Then I'm going to pour in my mm, lovely lavender buds. and I'm just going to take a regular old fork <laughs> and mix it up. Okay, so check out the bath salt so far and it smells wonderful. And you could add in Epsom salt if you want or maybe in lieu of sea salt if you wanted to do Epsom salt, you could. And then I'm going to take my lavender essential oil and you notice I don't have much left. That's okay, I have backups. Um, and I'm just gonna put in maybe three drops or so because essential oil is powerful. Or maybe four. One, two, three, four. And all the while that I'm doing this, I'm just creating the intention that this is going to be soothing, loving, calming, as you can see, I have some very calming items on my altar here and I have some rose quartz in the back. Okay, so I'm going to mix that up again. Next, you're going to need a jar to put it in. So I have this kind of leftover mason jar here. to a little bit of the witchiness, I want to call in um, the Fae. So uh, if I tilt the camera back, you can see that I have lit a couple of my Fae candles, uh, the fairy candles. So a beautiful lavender um, going with the uh, lavender herb that is in here, the lavender flowers. Uh, for me, if I'm going to <laughs> give something a little bit of extra oomph, I just take a my hands and I like to move from my heart chakra through my hands into whatever it is that I want to put in a little bit of magic. So I want a source coming through me, through my heart, going down through my arms, out through the palms of my hands, and into this lovely um, bath scrub. 
so after that I'm just gonna leave this to charge on my altar until later so tonight when I take my shower um, I'm actually gonna be using the scrub tonight since today is the day after the new moon and we're kind of on the edges of the new moon so I still want to be able to experience some of that new moon energy while soaking in this uh, magical little bath soak um, so again just bringing you guys in on all the wonderfulness that is in there. It is so magical, so good, and so easy for you guys to do. I'm doing this for kind of my, my new moon soak, calm down, chill out, <laughs> calm the nerves. Um, but you know, like I said, you don't have to be into astrology. You don't have to be into anything witchy. Um, this is just a wonderful little bath salt that you can create a do-it-yourself, a DIY. Um, and yeah, in the uh, Llewellyn's Witches uh, Spell a Day Almanac, it says that uh, if you, again, want to be a little bit more witchy, uh, there is something that you could say while you're soaking. So after you've drawn your bath and you put in your little uh, bath mixture that you have made, your bath salt, uh, you can say something like, bath salt I cleanse and clear, with lavender I calm and refresh. When the lunar cycle is new, so maybe it, a new start for me too, blessed be. You don't have to say those exact words. You know, always make anything your own. That's what I'm going to do. Um, just kind of speaking from my heart. Um, I don't have to speak speak it aloud. Um, I'll probably end up just speaking it to myself or in my mind uh, while I'm soaking in my bath. And I might add actually a little bit of Epsom salt for my sore and achy muscles as well. So there you go, guys. That's it. That is the do-it-yourself bath salts. Uh, let me know what you guys thought. If you want more videos like this, please don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click click ding 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 notification bell for more videos just like this. And yeah, comments, questions, leave that down below. Um, if you guys want to catch a reading with me, I have Lenormand readings, tarot readings, I do scrying sessions, mediumship sessions, um, I have aromatherapy tarot sessions, those are always fun. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, I'm into the aromatherapy. Um, and I have bracelets and room and body sprays, uh, healing salves. I have tons of stuff in my shop. Uh, so go to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com. Check it out. There's also a link there to my Etsy shop. And don't forget to join the KWT tribe over on patreon.com slash kittensweightsandtarot. I'm creating my own oracle deck. Um, I'm also putting together a, uh, well, kind of like a free retreat or get together this summer and details are coming in just a few days. So stay tuned for that. And that's it for me, your spiritual homies. So I will catch you all later. All right. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.